it, it just seems too good to be true. It's made of voodoo magic. Let's see, ingredients. Modified wheat starch, water, wheat, eye of newt, sweat from an evil stepmother. No, not really. Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be filming a kind of a grocery haul I got from Walmart today. I might include one thing I got from Costco um, just to kind of show you guys something fun and new. If my Amazon order arrives, then I'll include that also. My hair is like extra floofy. Do you see the flow? Oh my God. I just dyed it last night. Mm-hmm. Like, look at that. Look at the height on some of those flyaways. So let's get to the grocery haul. Let me show you guys what I got and kind of what I'm planning on making this week. Oh my goodness <laughs> just look at that spread yes i kind of made it pretty for the thumbnail so where to start where to start let's see okay this is fun just looking at groceries and hearing people talk in the background <laughs> okay let's start with some of the produce over here um i picked up some mushrooms for pizza oh run away run away jalapeno I don't know what kind of pizza I'm gonna make. It's probably just gonna be literally just cheese on a pan with some toppings because I don't know. I don't know what to do. Some kind of pizza something's happening tomorrow. Um, I love mushrooms on my pizza. Strawberries, of course, a keto staple. These green leaves. I did that Walmart online order, by the way. And I just picked leafy romaine, like not the romaine hearts. And they give it to you in this like fancy pack here. So it's kind of nice because it's already um, hand harvested, washed and trimmed. So that's kind of nice. And they're already like, you know, since it's already trimmed, it's easy to make the Jimmy John's Unwitch dupes. It's not a dupe. It's the exact same thing. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, I make myself some little Unwitches with these, which is like my favorite thing these days. Artichokes. Do you guys like artichokes? My husband and I freaking love artichokes. You just boil them up. And I mean, it takes like, these are medium size. So maybe 45 minutes to an hour. You just boil them, maybe a little salt in the water and you just pull the leaves off once it's all boiled and cooked you, you can just pull the leaf off and there's like meat on the bottom of the leaf and you just literally like dip it in a sauce and just tear the meat off the bottom it's so good no utensils necessary you just need the dip and the artichoke the dip that you make for this is a mayonnaise lemon sour cream and like garlic salt kind of sauce that you make to dip it in it's so freaking good i might show you guys how i make it next time I do it. Before I started keto, we were eating this a couple times a week. So I haven't had to change some of the things I'm eating since I started keto. Cilantro, I I mean, I'm a cilantro lover. People either love it or hate it. I'm a lover. I'm making enchiladas this week, so I'm gonna use it for that. But my favorite recipe for chicken is cilantro, garlic salt, and uh, the nacho jalapenos on chicken breast. Just throw it in the oven and it's freaking amazing. It makes great chicken salads. I got jalapenos this week because I want to try making the stuffed jalapenos. You know, obviously it's just cream cheese and wrapped in a little bacon. A lemon is, I, I measure my lemons and my limes by the fresh juice on my carb manager app. Um, there's options for like a medium lemon, a large lemon or whatever, but I don't know how that works exactly because I'm only doing the juice. I'm not doing like the pulp and stuff. So I just will squeeze out the juice and measure it by the tablespoon so then I know I'm getting the right amount and tracking it correctly. A tablespoon of lime juice or lemon juice is one carb. Since I'm trying to cut back on alcohol, I will make kind of like a virgin margarita. For my mock cocktail, I use lime juice, you know, obviously some ice with one of these lime bubbles. And I'll even put, oh my gosh, where is it? Let me prepare for all this. I will put a teaspoon or two of the Lanco monk fruit sweetener. Some people probably hate it, but I love how it kind of stays grainy for a while. So I'll put it in my drink and it'll kind of sit at the bottom. So as I'm drinking my little mock cocktail, I'll get a little sugar on the bottom. I actually really love that. Um, but I also, let's just get into this here. <laughs> with my cocktail I make, I just like with the margarita, you know, you rim it with salt, but I don't want to have that much salt. So 
I'll put a little lime around the rim and then sprinkle this stuff on it. Holy crap, you guys. Chili lime seasoning blend. This is no carbs. It's so good. I love this stuff. Moving on, let's start from the top up here. So actually, I think my Amazon just got here. Let me go see if Amazon got here because I actually have some groceries from there too. So one second. All right, I'm, <laughs> my Amazon just arrived, but let's keep going here. So heavy whipping cream. I have a lot of it. I should have just got two big ones. It is under a gram of carbs for one tablespoon. I usually just use one tablespoon or less for my coffee. My birthday is this weekend, so I will be using a lot of heavy whipping cream. I will be make, making myself a birthday cake, and so I'll need frosting, Avi. Um, I'm gonna try making my own ice cream, and I use it for my coffee. So <laughs> I watched a YouTube video of this girl making her own ice cream, her own keto ice cream, and all the comments, everybody who made it like loved it. So I think I'm gonna film a video, um, like a recipe video of me making my own ice cream. So. Um, hopefully you guys will see that. I just got from Amazon these babies right here. I just went on Amazon and found the highest rated keto cake mix. Let's look at these macros here. Let's take the chocolate one because that's my favorite. Can we see? Pretty good. Okay, prepared. It's 14 grams of carbs, 3 fiber, and 8 urethrol. So, so it's 3 grams of carbs per slice. Of this cake so that'll be awesome I plan on making like a little mini cake so we'll see how much that comes out to this was um, let's see it was a two-pack the vanilla cake mix and chocolate cake mix I think it was $14.95 on Amazon I'll link it below if you guys are interested birthday cake is happening ice cream is happening frosting is happening this weekend it's my birthday but also I I'm trying to figure out what sweets I can have and not have on keto. I am not like, I mean, I love sweets, don't get me wrong, but like my, I'm more of a savory girl, so it's not super often I'm craving sweets, but when I have a sweet craving, that's gonna be what's gonna throw me off um, this whole keto thing. So I wanna kind of know what I can have and not have and be prepared, so I'm kind of having fun finding all the sweet stuff I can have. Sugar-free whipped cream. Oh. Walmart. I can I only find it at Walmart. I know there's other brands, but I can only find the Walmart whenever. Um, zero carbs for two tablespoons. Sometimes I like feel like I want a fancy coffee and I'll put it on my coffee, but also I love this stuff where it's like I just have a little sweet tooth. I'll just literally go to the fridge and just squirt it in my mouth, you know? Come on. You know we all do that. Don't lie. Don't lie. You know you love it. Ken's Creamy Caesar, my favorite salad dressing. It's just a little bit less than Hidden Valley Ranch. It's one carb for for two tablespoons. Hidden Valley Ranch is two carbs, I'm pretty sure. I just like the flavor of this more even. Ugh, it's so good. Uh, sour cream. I mean, what do we not use sour cream for? Like everything on keto, but I'm gonna use it especially to make my artichoke dip. Sour cream, one carb for two tablespoons. My husband loves these too, so I literally bought three bags because he'll have a whole bag himself. Um, he's not doing keto but he does eat pretty low carb anyway just naturally because that's what he likes the spicy baconettes are my favorite but these are a pretty good supplement but since i eat the spicy ones all the time i can't eat the plain it's like impossible for me to eat the plain ones now they just taste weird half ounce zero carbs i wonder if i scan it in the app if i put the whole bag in there how many carbs it would be <laughs> because i guess it doesn't show any sugar though does it have, but it has sugar on the ingredients you're not fooling nobody. You gotta be careful with this stuff. It's like, oh, cool, zero carbs. I'll just eat the whole bag, but it might be like 0.5 carbs, you know? And then you're eating times 10, that'd be five carbs for the whole bag. So you gotta use that noodle in your head. Next, I have a big bag of this very disappointing low moisture part skin mozzarella, blah, 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 blah. It's a whole, I'm like, might as well buy a big one, right? Save a little money. No, because I'm a stupida, and it is two carbs for a car <laughs> two carbs for a quarter cup. Come on, I love cheese, but I refuse to waste carbs on cheese. This is crazy. Pepperoni to go with my pizza. Oh come on, does it have lots of carbs too? I didn't even look at this. One carb for 16 slices. See, that's not bad. That's good. That's good. But this one, I'll probably end up cutting this with some like cheddar cheese. Is that gross? I don't know. Probably not because I'm a cheese fiend. I'm going to have some weird ass pizza. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> no crust, no mozzarella. Like what is this life? What do you eat for keto pizza? 
what is your keto pizza? Let me know in the comments below because I'm failing on that. So pizza sauce. I see some people using the, is it Rao? R-A-O? Rao sauce? That's like two carbs. This one is also two carbs. Let's see. Three carbs, one dietary fiber. So two carbs, two net carbs for a quarter cup. So it's the same as the other sauce, the Rao sauce or whatever. So I'm going to try this one out because it's like half the freaking price. So I am down with saving the dollars. My favorite enchilada sauce. This is the best one. Two carbs, two net carbs for a quarter cup. But by the time I pour it over, you know, for a whole vat of enchiladas, um, hopefully it'll work out. <laughs> I got olives also for pizza. I love olives on my pizza. These are one carb for five olives. So not bad. But also, you gotta have olives for the top of your enchiladas. I use these nacho things on everything. Okay, I don't know why I got two of these because, again, I must be that and I shouldn't be ordering groceries online at like 3 o'clock in the morning when I'm about to go to bed. But 15 carbs, 11 grams of fiber, so they're four net carbs per tortilla. I know there's probably better ones out there. I was hoping to do like the rolled, you know, enchiladas, but I'll probably end up doing like an enchilada lasagna kind of thing where you just, you know, lay them out so that way I'm only using two to four for a whole tray of enchiladas instead of using one tortilla per enchilada. So you can use them for wraps too, but I mean for four carbs, I love my unwitches so much. I don't even think I need these. So I might even freeze one. I don't even know what I'll use it for. Maybe I'll use it for pizza. If I use it for pizza, that would be good. Cause I mean, that's a decent size. It'll give me something on the bottom. Four carbs for like a whole pizza that big. That seems worth it, yeah? Oh my gosh, you guys, we're almost done. Holy moly. You guys are probably already clicked out of this video. Cream cheese. Okay, cream cheese is one ounce. A lot of us know this already. Less than one carb for one ounce. So there's this recipe I used to make before keto. That's like a cloud frosting. And you use a little bit of cream cheese and heavy whipping cream. So I think I will just only, the only thing I will do differently is going to be doing this powdered sugar instead of regular. Um, I think I'll film making my keto birthday cake because it's gonna be so freaking cute. Bacon, let's look at the bacon. Okay guys, this is one um, that could have been super tragic and ended up well for me in the late night ordering. Uh, naturally hickory smoked, naturally hickory. That doesn't seem right. This bacon, thank the Lord, is zero carbs for two slices hot cocoa or hot cocoa <laughs> hershey's 100 percent cacao naturally unsweetened cocoa powder this stuff is two net no it's one net carb because it's three grams one okay yeah one net carb per tablespoon i'm going to be using this to make my keto ice cream so we'll see how that goes this is the walmart uh refrigerated guacamole this is like the best way to go because especially if you're ordering for pickup, if you order avocados, they will just throw in a bunch of hard avocados. They don't care. So this is the best way to go for me. Um, last thing on the list, this came in with my Amazon order just now. They're the highest rated ones on Amazon. I will also link them below. Um, oh my God, we haven't even talked about this. Hello, you may have heard of it by now. I don't know, I don't even know if it's new. I know my sister told me about it the day I went to Costco actually. She had just found it. And her husband's been doing keto for a long time, so I feel like it's new. And Franz is a company that is local. So I think not everybody will have this bread um, in America. Zero net carbs. Did I mention it's zero net carbs? It's zero net carbs. It came in a pack of two for like $7, you guys. 12 fiber, 12 carbs. So um, the one problem I have with it, <laughs> Is this little scary warning on the back, Proposition 65? I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Can you explain this to me more? Should I be terrified of this? Let me know in the comments below, okay? Um, either way, I do try to not eat this every day because it is, it just seems too good to be true. It's made of voodoo magic. Let's see, ingredients. Modified wheat starch, water, wheat, eye of newt, sweat from an evil stepmother. No, not really. So the bread is good. It's like, it's soft. I've made French toast with it. It's good. I've done just cold sandwiches. It's like, the taste is kind of nutty. So it just tastes 
like it kind of reminds me of a sourdough in a little bit of a way but it's good the like taste it has is like a nutty flavor so there's no like chemical taste or anything i thought maybe it'll taste like plasticky or just chemical it doesn't have any of that so i i recommend it i mean besides the whole cancer thing but if you guys can get your hands on this I definitely recommend it. Are there other keto breads that you guys recommend that I could try? Maybe ones that don't have the cancer warning? Let me know below. Well, we got through it there. That was quite all. <laughs> I was like all over the place. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like this video if you liked it and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.